auger on the quarter ounce bink spoon fire tiger water's 48 degrees and i was snapping my spoon pretty hard i think it's a 16 incher Anyway, at the water's 48 degrees, I think they're about ready to spawn. And usually it's a real tough time of year for me. But what I'm at, I think they spawn on this point right here. So I'm just backing way off the point, the deepest end of the structure I can find. And I was looking for fish and snapped my spoon to get them to react and bite. Is how that one hit. And I've been probably fishing for about 15 minutes. Sounds jig and a gulp. white bass but I want to make a, a point it's real hard right now because the wind's ripping and the water's still only like 47 48 degrees so I don't want to use too big of a jig and it's real hard to feel so what I do I cast perfectly downwind of the boat and then it's a lot easier to feel than if you cast to the side I'm pretty sure this is the cast where hopefully you can hear me I'm pretty sure this is the cast where I went to the front of my boat lined up with the motor and cast it just so I could get it as perfect as I could downwind and that and I and I that was a long cast too and I felt a little tick and set the hook and I never would have felt it if I would have not cast it straight downwind of the boat and another huge thing is fire line I save my videos all the time yet I still see people fishing with mono I'm not gonna name any names uh, but I would never have felt that with mono. And then also mono is thicker too and it's going to pick up this wind and make it even harder to feel. And then I, I, I like a shorter rod too. I was using my longer rod earlier but the wind was catching it. So I switched to my shorter one and I can actually feel better just because the pole's shorter and it's not, it doesn't have an extra, I think this one's only 5'10 and that other one's 6'9 whatever that is. Uh, you know, more picking up the wind. 